Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. According to information disclosed by the information, the U.S. Department of Commerce is still concerned about the return of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip and is currently investigating whether TSMC has violated regulations by providing technology to help Huawei produce mobile phones, AI artificial intelligence and other chips. The birth of Huawei's 5G in 2018 directly shattered the hegemony of Europe and the United States in the communications field, which also made the top US officials furious and launched a series of targeted measures. The supply of chips and systems was interrupted, and Huawei could only accelerate the start of technology autonomy. The development process of Kirin chips can be described as ups and downs. With the help of TSMC's technology, Huawei created the world's first 5 nanometers chip Kirin 9000, but due to the use of a large number of US technologies, TSMC was forced to cut off supply. Huawei could only start the development of technology for the entire industry chain. It was not until 2023 that the Kirin 9000S chip was returned, and the problem of high-end chip supply was completely solved. In 2024, Huawei's chips will be upgraded again. The Kirin 9010 chip will be officially launched with the Pura 70 series which makes the United States completely uneasy. After a comprehensive disassembly and analysis, it is confirmed that Huawei's returning chip process can be maintained at around 7 nanometers and does not contain any US technology. But the Biden team has always been unwilling to believe that Huawei can break through in such a short time. After all, the accuracy of China's independent lithography machine is only 65 nanometers. So in the past period of time, ASML has been used to make a fuss, believing that as long as the supply of parts and after-sales maintenance of the lithography machine is locked, China's semiconductor industry can return to the pre-liberation period. But the United States underestimated China after all and directly targeted TSMC, which used to help Huawei foundry chips, thus ignoring the chip stacking process previously announced by Huawei. Now the most worrying thing for the United States has come, and ASML has officially announced the result. According to a recent report by Wuktech, ASML CEO responded in an interview, China is capable of producing some 3 nanometers, and 5 nanometers chips, but due to the old DUV lithography technology, the yield and production capacity will definitely be affected to a certain extent. This means that AMSL has admitted that it is possible to manufacture chips below 7 nanometers using the lithography machines previously exported to China. This can well explain the origin of Huawei's high end chips. China has always been relatively low-key. Before a technology is announced, it must have been completely broken through. Biden's team is afraid that it will not be able to sit still this time. At present, the commercial level of domestic lithography machines is maintained at 65 nanometers, which can meet the scale production of 28 nanometers chips. If Huawei's self-developed, chip stacking process is mature enough, it may not be impossible to complete the chip manufacturing industry comparable to the 7 nanometers process. According to market news, Japan's Nikon and Canon have achieved 10 nanometers accuracy with their DUV lithography machines and are already satisfied with the manufacture of 5 nanometers and even 3 nanometers chips. China's technology already has the corresponding foundation. 65 nanometers is definitely just the beginning, and there will definitely be a leap forward in the next three to five years. Huawei has been hiding its strength in the past few years. 
Kirin Chips and Hongmeng Systems have given China too many surprises, and Huawei insists on investing 20% of its total revenue in research and development funds every year. The results cannot stop there. There will definitely be more technologies announced in the future, and a completely autonomous industrial chain will inevitably be created. China has always advocated global cooperation, but the chip rules issued by the United States have made science without borders the joke. The US technology system is the main theme of today's technology. They must isolate China, so China can only create a technology system that belongs to China. With China's current influence in the world, it will not be worse than the United States in terms of appeal, and European countries have been disappointed with American technology. After so many years of research on 5G, there has been no results, and it has gradually lost its international credibility. The United States can be said to have lost quite badly this time. China should not take it lightly either. After all, the United States has a strong technological foundation, and many American companies have strong strength. Chinese companies should find a solution to overtake in a curve in a timely manner, so as to completely solve the problem. In addition, in an interview, ASML said that China is currently the world's largest semiconductor consumer, and the demand for semiconductor products will remain high in the long run. Especially in the field of mature process chips. Specifically, the Chinese semiconductor market has both stock markets and incremental markets. The stock market is mainly reflected in infrastructure construction, electronic consumer products market, and 5G base stations and their application scenarios, which will continue to drive consumer demand for semiconductors. The incremental market mainly comes from the increasing demand for semiconductor products in emerging fields such as new energy. The Chinese government's support for the semiconductor industry has also injected continuous momentum into the sustainable development of the market, especially the mature process market. At the same time, Chinese local brands are becoming important market participants, occupying a considerable business volume or revenue share in major semiconductor terminal market areas, especially solar cells, lithium batteries and electric vehicles. In exports in 2023, these three products performed strongly. China plays an important role in the highly globalized semiconductor industry. China is one of ASML's important markets. ASML continues to provide services and support to Chinese customers in compliance with laws and regulations. What do you think about this?